what were your marks in AFCAD in first attempt and second attempt? Can you repeat it? Sir, in my first attempt, my marks were 151, but I couldn't qualify that. Mm. In my second attempt, my marks were 186, mm. and in my third attempt, my marks were 192. And you cleared CDs in third attempt? Yes. Okay, you cleared CDs in third attempt. Why it took you two more to like, the first attempt you failed? Uh, sir, in my first attempt, I went in casually, sir. I haven't, hadn't prepared for the exam at all. Mm. But, sir, after that, I understood the level of the exam and I knew that. I would have to work harder than that. Uh, in my second Why are you casual about the exam? Sir, in my first attempt, I was not interested. Mm -hmm. But after that, I was very interested and it was my dream to join the army after that. Sir. Okay, you were not interested in the first attempt. Yes. This second attempt and third attempt which you cleared, these were in which years? So my second attempt was uh, 2021 second uh -huh. and third attempt was 2022 first. Okay, and CBS which you cleared was 2022 one. Yes, sir. Okay, so when prior to this you've given the Air Force twice. When you were giving the Air Force examination earlier, were you serious or you were just going to for the sake of exam? No, sir. That was serious that time, sir. From the first attempt only. No, sir. From the second and third attempt. So when you were serious from 2021 two. Yes. So why did you so take to give you know get interested in the CBS examination? Uh, sir, in my first attempt. I went because I had the opportunity, it, I was eligible for it, so I went. But after that I understood that the exam was very competitive mm -hmm. and it would take much harder practice. No, I'm asking that you said that you got interested in the army by third attempt, why? So not the third attempt sir, after uh, I was interested in the army mm -hmm. but in my first attempt I went casually. Okay and what happened in the second attempt? Uh, sir I couldn't clear it. Sir. No, that I know, why? Uh, sir my preparation was good. But I could, uh, my marks were also close, but I couldn't qualify the cutoffs. Okay. That's what I'm asking. Why? What happened? Where were you lacking? Sir, I had completed my syllabus, uh -huh. but I didn't practice PYQs and uh -huh. last year question papers, and I believe that was the reason why I couldn't clear. Why? Why were you applying through AFCAD when you know that through CDS you get a you, you can apply through CDS also for the Air Force? No, sir. Why? Sir, because I didn't have physics and maths in my level 10 12. Okay, so you are applying for the ground duty? Yes, sir. Okay, and why is that suddenly from the Air Force now you are shifting to the Army? Which which you actually, which one is the actually you want to join? So my actual goal is the Army, uh -huh. but I also, I have the opportunity to join Defence Forces via AFCAT also in Air Force. That's why I am applying for it as well. So, it actual goal is the Army, but if it happens, the Air Force will join Kalini. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, you are doing that in keeping the Ponky Joe Nikal Jaga, Usko Jarikal Logi? No, sir. Then? Sir, Air Force is also Defense Forces okay. and it gives the same opportunities as Army. Okay, sir. now you've been recommended for both Army and the Air Force, say both are PC. Yes, sir. Which one you will you choose? Why? And which you don't choose? Why you will not choose that? Answer the second part first. Uh, sir, I won't choose Air Force because, sir, my dream is to join the Army and I have always been focused towards the Army. And I have put in more efforts. I have not wanted to listen what you want to join the army. I have wanted to listen why you don't want to join the Air Force. Sir, I won't join the Air Force just because I want to join the army. Sir. Okay, so henceforth, henceforth, since you are focused on the army only, you will not be giving the Air Force exams also? No, sir, I will be giving them. So you will be giving Air Force exams and you want to join the army. So, there is a huge amount of dichotomy in your answer. I am still not getting it. You want to join the army and you don't want to join the Air Force, but you want to give the Air Force exam. Sir, it's not like I don't want to join the Air Force. You just said that. Sir, if I am given an option of joining both Army and Air Force, in that case I will choose the Army. But if I do not be spoiling one seat. Sir, I won't say that I am spoiling one seat because in that attempt also I would have proven my worth and that's why I would have been recommended. Oh, but you would have wasted our time, right? You would have wasted the Indian Air Force time of entire selection and process the amount of money which would have gone in the selection. So, I you would have made a joker out of us? Uh, no sir, because I am trying to get into the forces and it is my opportunity and I have to go through the process if I want to get selected sir. Okay. So anyways, in the two attempts of AFCAT, what happened? Uh, sir, I was conference out in both of them. Okay, and what were the reasons for conference as per you? So in my first attempt, sir, I was a raw candidate and I didn't know about the SSB process. Mm. And at that time, I flumbled. In my Where? Second, 
sir most of the places i fumbled mm. even in my interview i fumbled mm. and in my second attempt sir i was prepared but mm. i believe that i wasn't able to express myself in a good way not able to express in a good way so how much uh, there was a time of around 6 months so you are a slow learner uh, no sir so in 6 months you were not able to rectify the mistakes of the previous years me sir i was able to rectify them but the result is same yes sir the result was same sir but i would say that i had improved a lot i couldn't reach the level where i could have got recommended but sir i believe that i had uh, improved my personality a lot you have improved your personality a lot how did you argue is that you improved your personality uh, sir it's a test of personality sir like so, can you tell me what personality what part of personality you were able to improve in the second conference point by point okay sir so if i start by psychology tests mm. sir in my psychology test sir earlier i didn't know that how we have to approach the test sir. we were given general <coughs> instructions over there mm. but i didn't know the exact procedure and the correct way to do it sir mm. but in my second attempt i had prepared well and i had changed uh, during those six periods sir i did a lot of things sir i did a lot of introspection where i went wrong what i did wrong and i improved on my mistakes so even in my interview in my first attempt mm. uh, when i was sitting in front of the officer i mm. flumbled sir mm. uh, i was a bit nervous in front of him mm. but in second time sir i was confident and i was able to answer most of the questions very well okay so you were able to answer very well so you worked a lot into psychology yes sir i did sir okay so uh, in the self description test yes, over a period of time the first one you wrote the second one you wrote and the one in which you given to me what has been your approach from the first one to the current one sir my approach has been to constantly improve it mm-hmm. and that comes when i introspect sir so so whatever my thought process is that at that time of writing the sdd mm-hmm. i put it in front of you okay what happens when you when you don't achieve your aim for you sir i work hard for it sir okay say you are a failure tell me mm-hmm. so how much that failure will pinch you so it pinches me a lot sir it pinches you a lot so it took you two pinches to clear the series right yes sir okay so now you written my aim in my life is to be happy successful and keep my family happy this is your entire aim in your life but most of the times rather 70% of the times or 50% of the times these three things will not be working tandemly yes sir happy successful keep my family happy when these three things are not happening continuously Wow, what will you do, sir? It is not like that. If I am not happy, sir, I maintain my calm, sir. Hmm. Okay, what the wrong, sir? Wrong, sir. These three are aims in my life, hmm. and I have also written that I want to be a competent army officer. That is also one of my aims. And if I am, sir, it's not like that. If I am happy, then I am in a bad state of mind. It's not like that, sir. Hmm. It just means that I am focused towards something which I didn't get, and I am still working hard for it. You you have a lot of qualities. You have a lively nature. You are reliable. You are mature enough. You do digitally based conversation. You are helping them. You want to be happy, successful. Keep my. You want to encourage others. You are have a pragmatic approach. You are a good leader. You are a player. You are a social person. You have a good sense of humor. You are economical, and uh, you help your grandfather. And uh, you can do a lot of discussion with the parents. Uh, you do the chores at home. Uh, you you maintain a good balance. You've got inquisitive nature, and lot of things which you've written around. I think around ten to fifteen qualities. I already have. I don't think so. I need to add anything further in you. By now, you should be in the final term of the academy. So so the in three terms attempts which you've said two attempts of this and this and the current interview which is going on. You have added. Uh, what I think is that in every attempt. I don't know about what you did in the last two attempts, but you are just keep on adding a lot of adjectives, adjectives, adjectives. It feels like ki when I am going through your uh, SDT, uh, you know, you've taken an incarnation of Lord Buddha. Like you, you it's not a birth; it's an incarnation of a god. Uh, sir, it's my self-description test, and I have written what I felt about myself. Sir. Okay, okay. You feel like a god, ah? Huh? So not like a god. Uh-huh. But a person who has these qualities, sir. Okay, okay, great, great. We are looking for these qualities only. Anyways, uh, so uh, you uh, teach economics for which class? Sir, twelfth class, sir. 
Okay. So you got a decent interest rate clear at CDS. Tell me the current rate of uh, reverse repo rate, repo rate, cash reserve ratio, bank rate, saturity, liquidity ratio, these five are there. And explain me what are these. Uh, sir, reverse repo rate. Start with SLR. SLR. Sir, so, SLR refers to the statutory uh, liquidity ratio. What is the current rate? Uh, sir, I am not aware about it. Sir. You teach economics here? Yes, How many sir. years have you been teaching economics? Sir, past year, sir. One year? Yes, sir. So, sir, you know basics, sir? Uh, Tell me. Sir, but in class 12 exams, they don't ask about the current rate. Okay, so, so they ask the basics. Tell me what is SLR? Sir, SLR refers to statutory liquidity ratio. It is the uh, amount of net demand and time liabilities mm -hmm. that the banks are the banks have to keep with uh, the central bank. Mm -hmm. Have you explained the role? Uh, sir, it is that net way. demand and time liabilities. Uh, sir, time liabilities and net demands are basically uh, sir, these are the uh, if I explain it. No, I am listening. You can explain me anything. Yes, sir. Sir, net demands and time liabilities. So time liabilities refers to the bonds which the banks hold for a certain period of time mm -hmm. and after the maturity they get the required amount and they return the bond. Mm -hmm. so, debt okay. uh, no sir, sir, debt comes under when you leave, uh, lend an amount sir. Mm -hmm. So that is debt. What is a debt bond? So debt bond is uh, when you are taking a loan sir, uh, for example, so you sign a debt bond that this much amount is being borrowed and after you return the amount, the debt bond is cancelled and you so if I take 1000 rupees from you as a debt bond Yes sir And if I return back you that after one year, that is a debt bond Yes sir, and sir it also uh, incurs some interest sir. Give me an example of a debt bond Have you given me some recent debt bonds which have been issued by government of India? Uh, sir, I am not aware about it sir You are not aware about it? Be an economic student. Okay, tell me what is the bank rate? So, bank rate is the rate at which the RBI gives loan to the commercial banks for short term loans. So, what is RR? RR is repo rate. So, repo rate is the rate at which the central bank gives the loan to the commercial banks for their long term needs, sir. For long term needs? Yes, sir. What is triple R? Uh, sir, reverse repo rate is the rate at which the commercial banks give loans to the central banks, sir. For short term, long term? Sir, it is for long term only, sir. Okay. What is CRR? Sir, it is uh, cash reserve ratio, sir. Thank you. What does it mean? Sir, cash reserve ratio means that uh, a certain percentage that the amount of money that the banks are holding, they have to keep it as deposits and they cannot lend it to the customers, sir. Hmm. Explain me more. How do they keep it? Sir, suppose yes. if the bank is holding 100 rupees, so and if uh, the central bank sets a limit of 30% hmm. that the banks have to keep it themselves. So they can only can CRR control inflation? Yes sir, definitely it can control inflation. How? Sir. sir, because inflation means that the price mm -hmm. is rising. Mm -hmm. So if the uh, banks will lend more money, that means the public will have ample amount of money in their hands. Mm -hmm. So sir, it will increase the situation of money supply in the economy <coughs> and that's why the prices will rise because demand is more sir. Explain me again. Uh, sir, CRR, uh, mm -hmm. sorry sir, if the banks can lend more to the public, mm. the public will have more amount of money in their hand mm. and they will spend more sir. Mm. That's why sir. No, how CRR will help in controlling inflation? Also? Okay sir, so if the banks would give less loans, then the mm. uh, public won't have money mm. in their hands sir. Mm. So sir, the, the spending in the economy will Who decides CRR sir? in India? Sir, RBI decides sir. No, RBI name is a particular committee which decides. Yes sir. Uh, Sir, I don't know the name of the particular committee, but it consists of four members. Uh, one is the RBI governor, and second is uh, finance minister, and other. Have you heard of MPC? MPC. Uh, sir, I have heard about it, but I am not able to make it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you've done a lot of competitions in your school and colleges, Sambat. Uh, college department affairs, department anchoring, uh, which one did you enjoy the most? What were these events all about? What were the problems which you encountered and how did you face them? Okay, sir. So, the I enjoyed most was somewhat, sir. It was my college fest mm -hmm. uh, in that I was in the uh, organizing department. Mm -hmm. So, sir, we had uh, uh, the team has decided several competitions. Mm -hmm. And I was a volunteer in it in the organizing committee, mm. and we were organizing the 
हिस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट राइटिंग कॉम्पिटिशन इट वॉज अ जनरलाइज पेपर सो सर द डिफिकल्टीज दैट वी फेस वर दैट फर्स्ट वी हैड टू स्प्रेड द मैसेज अमंग द स्टूडेंट्स सो सर इवन एट द लास्ट डे ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन वी वर गेटिंग मैसेजेस दैट द मैसेज वॉज नॉट received by many of the students mm. and they were asking for an extension of the deadline mm. so sir we had to coordinate with the committee which were in uh, which was responsible for doing it mm. so sir after that they had to increase the registration uh, time for two more days sir. Mm. and uh, sir the next one was demythify sir mm. demythify was our departmental history departmental newsletter sir mm. i was a editor in it so it was the sq or a student yes sir which college hansraj college sir career okay sir in that i was the editor and it was during the covid times when we were all at home mm-hmm. so we thought that we should start a departmental news letters mm-hmm. in which we will subject to various aspects and we will select a theme mm-hmm. and then various topics would be given in there and sir coming to anchoring sir i have done it for 2 years in my school mm-hmm. so there were several competitions in our school in which i used to anchor so one of them was the investiture ceremony in which the council of the school is selected sir okay and uh, the only problem you had was in sambhat uh, sir mostly in sambhat only sir because in anchoring sir we were given a script and we had to just go by the schedule sir okay and you have a lot of hobbies also fitness activities indoor and outdoor sports teaching okay teaching is a profession you know you are professionally working how you made it that a hobby so i am not working professionally as a teacher but you are charging money Yes, sir. I am charging money for it, sir. Mm-hmm. Sir, but I like teaching, and that is why I am doing it, sir. So apart from this, you are doing some free teaching also. Sir, I am not doing any free teaching. Sir. So, then, ये तो hobby कैसे होगी? तो पैसे ले रहे हो तो मुश्किल तो? Yes, sir. तो जब तुम पैसे ले रहे हो, तो क्यों तो occupation ही होगी ना? Uh, hobby कैसे बना दी इसको? Sir, I like doing it, and that's why I do no, it. No, I I get it. Yeah. I am doing it for free. No, sir, I am not. So, ये तो occupation होगी ना? Yes, sir. It will be an occupation, sir. But I am not employed professionally, sir. See. Are you charging money or not? Are you doing it for free? No, sir. I'm not doing it for free. So you are charging some money for it. Yes. Sir. How much are you charging month per hour? Sir, it's not per hour, sir. It's a monthly fees of two thousand rupees, sir. Two thousand rupees you charge monthly. Yes. How many students do you have? Sir, I have three students. Three students. What are their names? Sir, one is Garth Thukar, Garth Thukar. Uh. Second is Lakshya Gupta, uh. and third is Dhruv Malani. Dhruv. Okay. So uh, now you are doing what are these indoor and outdoor sports you are doing? Uh, sir, I I play football mm. and indoor sports sir I am playing badminton currently. How many years you been playing football? Sir, I have played football for almost twelve years now. Sir. Okay. What is X gene football? Uh, second please repeat it. What is X gene football? Sir, it is the uh, expected goals sir. Uh, expected goals, correct? Yes sir. Okay. Now tell me when I say that. Particular person has a zero point three five rating. Yes, sir. What does that mean? Sir, it means that those were the chances which he had, but he couldn't convert it into goals, sir. Convert the zero point three five in the way a layman can understand. Okay, sir. So if I had three opportunities, mm. and out of if I say you have got zero point five G rating, what does it mean? Sir, it means that out of all the chances I had. I couldn't convert my zero point five percent of the chances into goals, sir. Okay, so if there were ten chances, so how many you could not convert? Zero point five. No, sir, not zero point five, sir. It's a percentage, sir. Uh, so if I convert it, sir, it would be approximately, sir, nine point two something, sir. So out of ten, ten chances, you will not be able to do nine. No, sir, I would be able to do nine point two, and I would be missing the zero point eight. If you have got zero point five rating, yes, sir. What were your marks in maths in tenth and eleventh twelfth? Sir, I got A one, sir. And in twelfth, I didn't have maths, sir. Okay, tenth, how many marks were there? Sir, it was grading system, sir. So I had A one. A one is approximately plus ninety. Yes, sir. Plus ninety. And uh, science, how much did you get? Sir, it was also A one, sir. What did you choose in twelfth? Sir, humanities. Why? So because I like social studies in tenth. Okay, you like social studies in tenth. Is your favorite subject history? 
sir i wouldn't say that it was my favorite subject but i had more interest in it sir. okay so how much did you score in the what were your subjects in 12 so my subjects were history geography english physical education and economics history geography economics economics english english and physical education why did you opt for maths and science peace game student mm, sir till my 10th standard sir i wasn't much interested in those subjects mm. so that's why that's what i'm asking why so do you think you would have joined the air force in the like flying branch also if you would have taken sciences yes sir now i think about it yes i would have done it sir so again the same question why why not science sir i didn't have interest in the subject sir which subject did you have interest <coughs> social studies sir social studies mein bahut sare subject hain isme interest tha sir mostly in history sir history you had geography also you had yes sir how much did you score in geography so 98 98 marks good marks history how much you scored 100 sir 100 yes sir oh my god that is the first time i heard of somebody has got 100 in history tell me five mongol emperors after aurangzeb okay sir so bahadur shah jahangir shah hmm. farooq siyar hmm. uh, akbar 2 And Alamgir too. Who was Nadir Shah? Sir, Nadir Shah was an emperor in Afghanistan, and he had plundered India in 18th century, and he had uh, attacked the Purana Kila old fort in Delhi, and he had taken away the peacock throne with him. Sir, who made the peacock throne? Sir, I couldn't recall the name of the architects. Who was the king when the Peacock Throne was made? Sorry, yes. Okay, when Nadir Shah invaded India, who was the Mughal emperor? Sir, it was Farooq Siyar. Farooq Siyar, sure. Yes, sir. Good. So, if Farooq Siyar was the uh, when Nadir Shah invaded, what was Muhammad Shah and Ali doing at that point of time? so he came after him so when himayu you know uh, which battle did himayu lose that he had to leave india sir it was chosa sir battle of chosa yes against uh, sir shesh shah suri okay he went to which country after this sir he went into exile and he where went. sir i believe it was iran sir Yes. Name. Tell me the name of the king of Iran which he met. So I don't know. Okay. Why did the Iran Iran king help him? So because I believe the their religion was same, sir. You could have gone to any other king then. But the Bhai ki baat is that the movie same religion ki. Yes, sir. If you answer me this question correctly, I will not ask the same history question for you, sir. the i believe the ruler who was ruling over them they had good relations with them and that yeah, you know to bhai ko dhara ke de di matlab bhai did he go there did you offer something what did he offer sir definitely would have offered him shelter because he was that iranian king offered na yes i think bhai would offer something to him or it was nothing it was just friendship uh, was there any quid pro quo no sir it wouldn't have been friendship sir he would definitely have offered that If he becomes the king again, and if the Iranian king helps him, then he would have allowed trade against. You're him. guessing. I'm. I am. Didn't ask you to guess. Yes, sir. Do you know the answer? Sir, I'm not sure about it, sir. Okay. Since you could not answer this question, we'll stick to history. But before this, you. This was a. Wonderful achievement, yeah. Ninety-three, ninety-six, and in sixty-four. Yes, sir. Oh, like wonderful, superb. How did you do this from ninety, almost ninety-seven percent to sixty-four point four? कैसे या जुमा कैसे किया? Sir, you, you, you are. तुम्हारे तो दो साल कोविड में गुजरे. Yes, sir. कोविड में तो like the 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 PIQs and SDTs and getting everyone is got getting eighty, ninety percent. 
but in COVID your percentage reduced. How did you achieve this? Sir, almost one and a half year of my college was in COVID. Yeah. But sir, during that time I was preparing for my CTS and AFTAD exams. Or you have put some limit on it? No sir, I wouldn't say that I have put some limit on it. Sir, all three years of my college I had... What was the highest percentage in your, in your class? 78% sir. 78%. Highest percentage in Delhi University at that point of time. Sir, I am not sure. Why? Why are you not sure? Give me a random number which you have read. Sir, I would say around 83 to 84 percent, sir. 84 percent, sir. You can tell me why you have 64%. Sir, during my college days, sir, I was in the football team. Hmm. So, sir, I had to go for the football practice. But after the second or third year, you had to go for the second or third year. Yes, what sir. What were your first, second and third year marks? So they were consistent sir. So in my first year I had 6.74 GPA. Mm. In my second year I had 7 GPA. Mm. And in my third I had 6.8. Well, that's what I am asking. Huh? When it was COVID so there was no football. Yes, I mean, was scoring the same way. So during COVID also sir. And if you were preparing for CDS yes, in second year. You took second year, third year. Then two more attempts. <coughs> and still you took so much time to clear the CDS. No sir, after my third year, it was my second attempt in which I cleared sir. You cleared your CTS in third attempt you told? Yes sir. So, third year can you say one attempt you have done? Yes sir, in, after my third attempt, it was my second attempt sir, which I cleared after my third year. Th in third year, how many attempts did you give? Sir, in my third year, I didn't, uh, I only gave one attempt sir. By the end of the third year? No sir. Sir, uh, when I was completing my uh, sixth sem uh, fifth semester at that time sir. Okay, you give the November attempt or the yeah, February at, at that time? Sir, I gave the November attempt, sir. November attempt, attempt yes, sir. You didn't give the next February attempt? Uh, sir, I didn't give the next February attempt. Why? So because I knew that uh, I had to study more if I have to clear the exam. That's why I didn't give it. Okay, so you didn't give the February attempt. Yes, then you gave the? November attempt, attempt, sir. So did you clear that? No, sir. So November, February, November. Yeah, you started preparing by second year, second year, third year, third year, there will be two sats, two attempts, and then so I started preparing after my first attempt, so it was my third year, sir. You said you got less marks because you were preparing for CDS? Yes, sir, my third year, sir. Okay, first you were saying second year, now you are playing with third year. Okay, now I'll buy it, then you start preparing third year. So one year of third year, yes, sir. then one more year yes, sir. after. It took you two years to clear the CDS examination. Which can be cleared in six months. Why is that? You are a ninety-three percent, ninety-six point eight percent. Then there is something. This is pure gola wa wa hai. Our graduation day. Why were you not serious about studies in final year? Sorry, in your graduation. Sir, I won't say that I wasn't serious about it, sir. So, but I was doing simultaneous activities as well, and I paid comparatively less attention to so my studies. So, people who play sport, sports, that means they will get less marks. No sir, I am not saying that. So, but in your case, that is definitely true. Sir, it is not the only thing that I was playing sports, that's why. I was playing sports in my school also, and I was able to score good marks. It's not just that I was playing Exactly, then why this was not happening in college? Uh, sir, I was studying, but sir, in daily no, also. That's what I am asking. What is the reason that you were not able to manage your three years of graduation, sports went haywire, and for two, almost two years you were at home, Abhi tumhare marks kare gai? Yes sir. Take the reason for this, we will not be moving forward until unless I find a reason to this question. Sir, my first reason was that I was in the football team. So sir, I couldn't attend the classes in the morning sir. Haan, but that stopped na? That must have stopped in grad... Yes sir. In 2020 you passed out? Yes sir. 2020 the wave came? Sir, I passed out in 2021 sir. Haan, that's what I'm saying. So, 2020 you were in the house? Yes sir. Were you going to college? No sir. Haan, to 2021 pura? और ये डेढ़ साल डेढ़ साल अगर घर पे तो नंबर क्यों नहीं आए और एग्जाम क्यों नहीं निकला तुम्हारा सर इन माय व्हेन आई वाज इन द सेकंड ईयर सर आर एग्जाम्स वांट हेड सर सो सो वी वर गिवन द मार्क्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर एंड द टू एग्जाम्स दैट वी हैव गिवन फॉर द ओके सर एग्जाम मार्क्स तुमको फर्स्ट ईयर के बेसिस पे मिल गए सर तो द एंटायर ईयर वाज देयर टू क्लियर द सीडीएस एग्जामिनेशन व्हाई डोंट यू क्लियर दैट व्हाट वर यू डूइंग एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सर आई वाज एट माय होम सर हां सो व्हाट वर यू डूइंग सर ड्यूरिंग द कोविड टाइम no sir, not sir. कर क्या रहे थे exam भी नहीं लगा मुझे बताओ। ना को college के number तो college वालों ने दे दिए। तुम क्या कर रहे थे? Sports तुम खेल ही रहे थे। Yes sir. Then sir, I started preparing for CDS in my third year. And sir, during the COVID. What were you doing from January 2020 to March 2021? There was marks were given by college. Yes sir. So what were you doing in this period apart from college and sports? Sir, not till March 2021. Sir, our second year completed in. Uh, June 2020 
till that time only the marks were given to us by the college mm. and so during that time we had uh, difficulties at home as well and what uh, difficulties so we lost our close one sir and the situation was very dire who oh, did to whom did you lose sir i lost my chacha sir what you lost your chacha ji yes to covid no sir he had uh, cancer sir okay and what was his age so his age was 42 years okay 42 years how many years he was suffering from that so the past one one and a half years past one one and a half years so because of this he could not study no sir not like that uh, sir his he, he was in continuous treatment sir but when i came home in february sir at that time he was very critical and he was in why did you come in february ko uh, to lockdown to pehle lag gaya tha no sir lockdown happened in march sir okay so i came back in february at home uh, due to some reasons but after that my parents told me to stay and at that time i was in the hospital sir for the one month i used to stay in the hospital uh-huh. and after that so he expired uh-huh. and my college second year finished sir and after that the in the third year sir i was giving assignments online or our classes were also online sir uh-huh. and sir i was doing that so that was online you okay, were doing online and you lost your chatter you also see uh, when you join the forge you will have these kind of incidents that you will you will lose one of your sathi and against you and next day you need to work so this cannot be the reason that you are not studying for the exam no, and everything and again after uh, even after this incident when the normal thing started why were you not able to score in final year also the marks were given by college no sir so why why didn't you score in the final year again why couldn't you clear the cds exam in that period sir i had given the college exam sir and my marks were still consistent sir i had prepared for it i was studying for it mm-hmm. but i couldn't score high sir and I was preparing for CDS, which I was able to uh, finally able to clear, sir. Okay. What is your general routine? What was your routine on first of January, twenty twenty two? Sir, I get up by seven thirty a.m. Mm-hmm. Then I leave for the gym at eight a.m. Mm-hmm. And then, sir, I spend two hours at gym and I come back by ten a.m. And from ten to ten thirty, I have my bed uh, uh, and all. And sir, at ten thirty to eleven, I have my breakfast. And from eleven a.m., I used to sit and study, sir. And then I used to take a break at around two p.m. Mm. to have lunch. And then after that, I used to sit again to study from three to four thirty p.m. Four thirty p.m., sir, I used to make tea for everyone at home. And from five to six, I had my coaching, sir. Mm. The students used to come. Mm. From six to seven, I used to read uh, correct affairs and everything. Mm. And I used to generally pass my time at that time. Not generally correct affairs, but I used to do other things as well. Sometimes I used to play games and all, mm-hmm. play my mind. At seven p.m. I used to go to the Gurdwara, and after that I used to go for my badminton. Mm-hmm. And after that I used to come back home by around nine o'clock, and I used to have dinner with my family, and then I go and revise what I have studied in the day, and after that I used to go to bed. This is the general routine of this year. Yes, sir. Okay. When you t- spend time with your grandfather, uh, sir. When I am sitting and studying, sir, he mm. sits in the hall only. Mm. So, sir, I have to look after him, sir. What do you do? Yes, sir. What do you do? Uh, sir, in the afternoon I have to give him the lunch, mm. and in the night I have to give him the dinner and put him to bed, sir. Okay. And in the afternoon, sir, as I make tea for everyone, mm. sir, seven to eleven. Okay. What is the grandfather's name? So, my grand Arki City, sir. What is Arki? Rakesh Kumar City, sir. What does Rakesh mean? Why you are not proud of your grandfather? You don't care about what does his name mean? Those are some kind of words. Yeah. So tell me, what is your mother's name? Yes, sir. What is your mother's name? Sir, Sweetie Sweetie. Sweetie Sweetie. Nice name. Sweetie Sweetie. Okay. Vidant, your name comes from Vidas? Yes, sir. What was the reason that the parents gave this name to you? Uh, sir, I asked him. Uh, they had selected few of the names, three to five names, and they referred it to my grandfather, and my grandfather selected it. And your grandfather selected your name. Yes, sir. And do you think that it's good that you know what happened with your grandfather's uh, name? Sir, he's not the same grandfather who gave my name, sir. Okay, how many grandfathers you had? Sir, I have only one grandfather, uh, but sir, he is not my real grandfather, sir. Okay. He is my real so grandfather. What does Vedant mean? So Vedant means uh, a person who has knowledge of Vedas, sir. So do you have knowledge of Vedas, sir? I have knowledge, uh, basic knowledge about the Vedas. Okay. How many names are in Rig Veda? Uh, a very basic question. 
so I'm not sure about it. Okay, so uh, why why do we divide the Vedas in uh, Rig Vedic civilization and Legal Vedic civilization? Uh, sir, Rig Vedic civilization is from 1500 BC to 1000 BC. Uh, it is an early Vedic era, and after that, it is a late Vedic era. And in that, there are three books, sir. That I understand. Yes, sir. Why are they called like this? Uh, sir, it is divided on the basis of time period, sir. I know. Yes, sir. That why it is called Rig Vedic civilization and another part is called Later Vedic civilization. Sir, because during the early Vedic time, Rig Veda was only composed, and its name is kept after the Rig Veda, sir. You know the relationship with the with Vedas and Sapta Rishi? No, sir. Why? Never inquired. No, sir. Tell me the difference between Vedas, Arandaks, and Upanishads. Arandaks and Upanishads. Sir, so Veda. Starting with Upanishads. Upanishads. Sir, so basically all of these are Shruti, sir. It means that whatever is written in them, they can't be edited or. What is Upanishad, sir? Sir, Upanishad is basically conversations between the teachers and the students, sir. Okay. I don't understand. What is an Upanishad? Uh, sir, the text. It's a dialogue, right? Yes, sir. What is that? Aranya. Sir, so I'm not sure what it is. You have any idea of Mandaka Upanishad? It is famous for one particular thing. Yes, sir. Why? Sir, have you heard the line Satyamev Jayate? Yes, sir. Never fail to dig it. Okay. So, uh, Vidant, you've participated in a lot of events. Okay, uh, so you've been a sports captain. You've been a flag bearer and a lot of things. Okay. So, uh, you played also a lot of sports, skating, football, and roller ball athletics. What is this roller roller ball athletics? Sir, roller ball is basically a combination of basketball, handball, and throw ball. Which is played on uh, roller skates, sir. Yeah. Okay. Roller skates. It's like a football of roller skates. Not sir, football, sir. It uh-huh. is a combination of basketball, throw ball, uh-huh. and handball, sir. In this, sir, uh, both the teams have six players, uh-huh. and one is the goalkeeper, and we have a goal, and uh, five players who have, who have to score the goal. We have to continuously dribble the ball, uh-huh. and then by throwing the ball, we have to score a goal, sir. What is the false start in skating in a relay player? Uh, sir, false start is that. Uh, There is a whistle or a gun, mm. which is given when the race is started, sir. So mm. if a player before the blowing of the whistle crosses the line, it's a false start, sir. And even if the player is on the line and he cuts the line by mistake, mm. then it's a false start, sir. Okay. Uh, this the uh, the PC you are getting this from the IMA entry? Yes, sir. What are the colors of iron? Yes, sir. What are the black colors of iron? Uh, sir, it is grey and red, sir. What does they mean? Uh, sir, grey is for steel. That means uh, the people who have been training there, they have a very high caliber, and the red is for the blood they sweat, sir. Blood they sweat. How they supply sweat blood? Uh, sorry, sir. I, which which mammal does this? Sir, it was slip of tongue. I'm sorry. Why do you have pathetic eating habits, sir? I don't have. You 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 said you do a lot of exercise and everything. Yes, sir. So many things. So why are you having these bad eating habits, uh, sir? They are not pathetic habits. It's just that I love eating different kinds of food, sir. So so I. What's the problem with that, uh, sir? Sometimes I eat a lot of junk food, sir. That's why. Can you give me five examples of your lively nature? Uh, sir, whenever I'm around my friends, sir, so we crack a lot of jokes and I keep the atmosphere lively. Mm. And sir, second is that even 
if we are in a tense situation sir mm. sir i lighten up the mood sir mm. my third example of lively nature would be that i can gel up with people really nicely and i can communicate and socially adapt with people sir mm. i get along with people well sir mm. fourth example sir i would like to give that uh, be it my seniors or my juniors sir sir i have friends in both categories sir mm. and fifth i would like to say that sir i generally keep the environment happy sir how sir like uh, whenever we are conversing sir so so we pick up something and we discuss about it so we crack jokes about it sir can you repeat the last thing uh, sir whenever we are conversing about something mm. so sir there are instances when we friends are talking about things mm. sir so to lighten up the mood sir we pick up something sir like mm. uh, whatever person has said and we joke about it sir joke about whom sir the things we are talking about sir what things uh, you tell me five things which you joke about sir they are not anything in particular but whatever comes up in a conversation sir can you tell me what is the exercise barristics uh and please repeat it sir exercise barristics or uh, no sir okay we are going to start with talking to you Thank you very much for watching this video और इस चैनल को डेफिनेटली सब्सक्राइब करें जिससे आपको इस तरह का कंटेंट मिलता रहे और इसके साथ आप प्ले स्टोर से शौर्य और विवेक नाम का ऐप भी डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं जहां पर आपको इस तरीके का डिफेंस का कंटेंट एसएसबी का कंटेंट भी मिलेगा जय हिंद